Today's CSGO update doesn't add any new maps, or even skins, it's just a series of miscellaneous tweaks to remedy problems and to add a thousandth layer of polish to the game that we all love. At the end of a match, it will now display who was in a pre-made group. These are the icons, which I must say could really do with a bit of upscaling. Yeah, that's better. But yeah, this means that if you went the whole game thinking that your teammates were awfully quiet, when it's all over, you'll see if it was because there were four mates who queued together, probably chatting to each other on Discord, leaving you out in the cold. So here's an example of what it looks like in-game, thanks again to Oral Stealth for this picture, and to him for making the ultimate sacrifice by playing a match to get it. CK and Putzmeister queued together on the CT side, and these three people did on the other. Now being able to see who's pre-made isn't actually a new feature. If you've ever uploaded a match you've played to CSGO stats.gg, that screen was able to display who was queued together on its match screen. But again, that means waiting until the match has ended. While in game, you'll just have to do your own detective work, checking out people's Steam profiles and searching their friends list for other names of people who are also on the server. I think we can agree it's nice to know who was pre-made at the end of a match. But that begs the question, why not show it during the match as well? Well, maybe instead of that, the question should be, what good could come from knowing who's queued with who while the match is still on? I can only imagine it would lead to judgments about other players' performances and moaning to people on your own team for not talking in game because they're pre-made. I'm sorry. But if you do think of anything good that could come from knowing, then please let me know. For now, I'll just assume that Valve wants the match to be played without any such information. Maybe so that players can only be judged on their own individual merits and in-game performance and so on. At least you'll have a few seconds at the end of the game to moan about stuff after it can no longer affect the match's outcome. The average wait time when looking for matches is now region specific. I didn't actually know it wasn't previously, since it's always quite accurately represented how long I've had to wait for a match. But if you're in some remote place where there are only like three CSGO players currently playing, it will now show a longer wait time to warn you of this. And the other specifically mentioned updates today are all to do with Archon commands. I didn't actually know what these were about, so I reached out to Kinsey who tried to explain them to me. Now there has been a freezing issue in CSGO lately, I've experienced it once too, where suddenly the game drops to 10 FPS for everybody on the server. For me it lasted about 30 seconds then returned to normal. It doesn't seem like this update was made to address this bug, though it has apparently broken a workaround that people were using to fix it. Valve please fix. Instead, Kinsey thinks this update was made to prevent the floating bug where sometimes you start the round with your vision above where it should be, something I've experienced many times over the years. He says that when an Archon connection is established synchronously, it freezes the game until it's connected, which is what can apparently trigger this floaty view. You can see that the console command Archon Address 1 would cause this, allowing the player to see over things whilst being invisible to other players, who would see him as though he was just stood on the ground as normal. Since it's now done asynchronously, it no longer waits for connection and therefore the floaty thing no longer happens. But Kinsey, I said, I wasn't using Archon commands when the floaty bug happened to me, to which he said, yeah, it happens occasionally anyway. So hopefully no more floaty view, which has gotten me kicked before. And the other updates block Archon commands entirely so that players on the server will be unable to change anything, since in stuff like matchmaking they shouldn't be allowed access to those commands in the first place. So that's it for this mysterious update. Please let me know if you're still getting a floaty view in game because that means that Valve didn't fix. In which case, Valve please fix. Oh guys, 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 I can see everything, I've got wall hacked. Go oh, fuck yourself, you fucking cheater. Leave the game or stop cheating, fucking no, fuck. Okay. It's a bug, fight. man. He can't help it. Yeah, it's a pretty common bug. Have you never had it before? Had it loads of times. Oh. I can see I can see one in mid. He's on the right hand side. Go stop fucking cheating, you fucking filthy piece of shit. Yeah, it's a bug. I don't care if you have a bug, I'm gonna fucking kill you. No, a bug, dude. It's a bug. Dude. Dude, I'm not hacking. 